One of the shocking things that, that was discovered is that in that it's a false sense of protection that is created when vulnerability is actually the best protection. And I want to explain what I mean by vulnerability because that could be easily misinterpreted. When we're resting undefended, unguarded in the present moment, there are an infinite number of possibilities of response. When if we're guarded with a particular lens or a a, a filter on that lens, we're going to see things through that filter. Let's say you've been bitten by a snake. You can walk by a rope, you can walk by a hose, you can walk by a string. Oh, that's a snake. You, that has, it's, it's, it's quick. So if you think of the, the complexity of our psyches, Someone says something that subtly reminds you of when you were three and you got spanked for something. A subtle reminder, you're already like, I'm protecting my butt. <laughs> you know, I'm like, right? You, it's, it's, it's so quick. And so this game for me at the time of recognizing, oh, that split has happened, was then I would play that all day and practice then resting where my experience felt like I was vulnerable because I wasn't guarding myself. And what I discovered in relationship was that with curiosity and love, instead of being more defended and guarded, that the open heart would then get closer. So something was said that was experienced as hurt. And so in that application of staying present and being with the hurt, instead of protecting or attacking or ignoring what pretty consistently would then be the response was to get closer to the thing that I was experiencing that was hurting me and say, oh, that feels like this. What did you mean? What did, why are you saying that? This is what it feels like to me. And that in sustaining that openness is most often surprising or confusing in a certain way for the other person because I wasn't retreating I wasn't I wasn't blaming I wasn't guarding I wasn't offering something unpleasant back and so then the openness would just continue oh well this is what happens here oh well how did you feel oh and what it did was it actually offered the other person the same opportunity that I was offering myself And so this initial game that began in my shiatsu office, sitting on the futon after someone had left, huh, wonder what happens if, if I do that? Right, that then revealed that truth about vulnerability, which then led to having really wildly different conversations with people. And then seeing how my emotional reality then was transforming in the midst of the inner experience and the experience interfacing with other people. And uh, further along in this, a few years down the line where I was 
more comfortable with that, where that was more my regular, my regular mode, I would have conversations where the other person in that moment didn't seem to have the capacity to open in the offering that was present. And so then a, a greater curiosity came about uh, if my if attention still continued to nag, you know, was that if the moment was still nagging, right? If the, the mind still kind of was tasting that over again, what happened? What happened? What happened? If that's what then occurred, I would stop and be silent to see, okay, something was there that wants to be seen. What occurred? And I would often see what, that there was a want that was here. There was a desire for some aspect of the totality, which I am, that was being looked for on the outside that wasn't satisfied because it didn't come from the outside. And then I would surrender through that to discover that was on the inside. So one example was a moment of wanting compassion. And the person was incapable in that moment of offering compassion. And in that surrendering through, there was a realization of the compassion being the totality on the inside, and that compassion is always present, whether someone else is offering it or not. And from that moment on, for the most part that I'm aware of, then compassion has just been present, whether someone else offers it or not. So this happened a few times, you know, where things would come up and there'd be the desire to have the reflection on the outside, which then just became the key for me to surrender through, to discover that on the inside. Because then it's always present. And so then in that moment, then I would have compassion for the person who didn't have compassion because that hurt. That, I mean, that hurt for them. I wasn't hurt by it, but that hurts. Or whatever it was, if someone completely didn't understand and I was trying to be understood. Okay, I understand that they don't understand. And then maybe there'd be even a fuller picture of an understanding of why they didn't. So understanding was pretty full. I had no clue what, what I was trying to be expressed, but that's okay. 